Good morning, folks. Today we're going to hit an interesting study on whales and geomagnetic conditions. We'll see both good news and bad news on the current space weather situation, and we've got things we're looking at in the days ahead. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find the solar flares are continuing. Several more M-class flares and one that hit M9.5, nearly X-class. The CME impacts continue with the second notable impulse detected this morning. The good news is that they have been weak so far. The bad news is they are still managing to do things they should not be able to do. We had only the briefest of geomagnetic storm conditions so far, a low level 1 event. And yet, aurora were photographed in Arizona. Shouldn't be possible with such a weak space weather impact even with the best camera on the market. Another effect of Earth's magnetic field weakening and allowing greater auroral displays than expected. And folks, we may not be done yet. Not only do we have that huge complex departing on the right, CME is still on their way to Earth, but the sunspots on the left are now making their way into view. The Southern Group fired the M9 yesterday, and this morning, another strong M-class flare happened at the group to the north coming over the limb. These made very large flares on the far side of the sun, and have already caused flares as they've turned in to face the Earth. We've got eyes open for all of it in the days ahead. Folks, the sole article link today is to this, an excellent paper on whale navigation. They found the sun and moon and ocean currents play a role in the directional navigation of the whales, but geomagnetic changes were top of the list. This follows NASA's previous study on increased whale beachings during geomagnetic storms, and it also tells us things could get ugly as Earth's magnetic poles are shifting and the field is weakening now. We also have, of course, the end of the month special for the Observer Review coming out either later tonight or tomorrow. It is the Q&A based on your emailed questions. And don't forget, in about two weeks, we'll have the monthly issue of the e-magazine as well. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.